Hi there, I'm in Chester, Fourgate Street, and it's a very hot day, so I thought a good opportunity to just go round the walls, the Roman walls of Chester. So we'll go round in a circle and begin and end. at the clock. I think we'll go around anti-clockwise. So we'll go round and finish back here and uh, we'll see the River Dee before we get back. So the latter part of the walk will be a view of the groves that they're called and the River D. Let's just have a look at the clock. There it is. Let's zoom in a bit more. We'll get, a, we'll get a closer look at the clock when we do full circle. It's not exactly Michael Palin, but it's a smaller version. Friday night, 9.30, on BBC Two. Full circle around Cheshire Walls. Lecture, tour guide. Now we're, it's out of view, but the cathedral is, will be in a view in a minute. That, that building there in front is a bell tower. And the cathedral is coming into view. There it is. Along this route, there's the uh, canal, which drops down very steeply. And there's various tires, what, uh, tire, uh, towers. One of them is Prince Charles or Charles Tower. Apparently he was watching the Civil War going badly for him from that tower. Yeah, that'd be King Char Charles's Tower. That's the first. Charles the first.
Yeah, it's deceptive. You'd think that's the actual cathedral, but it's that little bell tower thing. See all the technical terms I've got for it, the, the, the bell tower thing. People relaxing and enjoying the sunshine. There's many uh, people who have done this, walked around it, and a few have filmed it. And uh, I've done it, but it was a long time ago, and it, it, it's in a better resolution now. It's a clearer image, steadier in image, I hope. This is a lovely view, this cobbled road. Took a photograph of this, it was really good. It's lovely. I think it's called Abbey Square. It's one abbey I haven't been to don't want to visit it's uh, Abbey Normal <laughs> something strange about it apparently that's from a Mel Brooks um, a line from Mel Brooks Young Frankenstein with Marty Feldman as Igor or Igor anyway waffling a bit here I was out yesterday for a walk and uh, it's good exercise and just, you know, but today it's very, very hot. So I'm combining visiting Chester with doing the Chester walls again. As I say, it was quite some time ago and it was not very good quality. So we can add this one onto the all the other hundreds of Chester wall videos. Get a glimpse of the uh, canal here. It's the Shropshire Union Canal. And there's a tower. Couple have got a nice little spot there. Just a little glimpse of the uh, canal there. Crest on the top there. You know what that means. You 
can pause the video if you want to read all the information. King Charles's Tower. Ah, I'm into the shade. Uh, this is a frightening wall, uh, part of the walls here. Down there somewhere, and it's overgrown now because it was some time ago, there's one young man, probably been to the pub with his friends, and he decided to jump over the wall and not, wasn't sure. Well, obviously didn't know that it was... Well, it's an incredible drop there. It's about 100 feet or maybe more. 150 feet down, you know. So there's a little plaque there. I was very lucky. When I worked for the council, I lived in Hool. Hence the term, you're a Chester hooligan. Hool is near the railway station in Chester. And I used to cycle along here to work, which was the other side of um, Chester, towards Wales, to this place called the Bungalow, where the buses were kept, the council buses. They were for um, special needs kids and uh, the elderly, taking them to day centre, so schools and things like that yeah so that's not a bad way there's one guy who was even better than me he lived in St Ives and he filmed the walk from to his work oh it was amazing I don't think I'll get tired of that regardless of the weather you know Good light, you get sharp shadows which helps with the definition on the image. Uh, there's some kind of, and I quote, improvement here on this footbridge, part of the walls. And it was made in 1966, and you know, I don't think they quite got the, the blend right, really. Let's do some concrete and throw a bit of brown colourant in it. They'd, they'd never know. He's raised his voice because it travels a bit further uh, sorry. when you're on the phone. Sorry. Sorry, you're cutting in. You know, trigger Happy TV he had this massive phone and they were in the cinema or something and he'd say, Hello! Yeah, this is the uh, 1966. It's also a gateway, obviously, for the road. Look at that. That's There's a very posh school there. I think it's a girls' school. Just there, that building. There we are. Mm. 
And there's another view of the drop down to the canal there. And there's a, a traitor's bridge or something here. Once they were given, if I can zoom in, you can't see much of it from where I am because I'm on the walls, it's not the prisoner's bridge. Once they were in court, there's a little bridge there. Can you see that? They were taken across there to the other side after their sentence and then locked up and then hung for treason or whatever. Yeah, it could be the um, traitors. There's something similar in London, isn't there? Well, that's a gate. The gateway on the Thames, below the tower, I believe. not been used recently well, I mean I, I won't go into who I put in it now you know I'm sure they all got by different views yeah distance there again is Wales. That's how the Welsh shows appointed them out when it was at um, Bidston. Which is further up the Wirral if you see what I mean. It actually becomes a river <coughs> in Chester whereas round the other parts of the Wirral it's part of the estuary. It's sort of the final you know, flow into the Mersey or or the the sea, is it the Irish Sea? Probably. For quite a number of maybe a year or two, these these this was, this was all scaffolded. So this is a good time to um again for me to do this again lovely houses even the modern ones are done in some kind of uh, empathy towards the rest of the area oh no this is the one that's the 60s bridge isn't it that one was yeah that was okay this one I think like I say it's been a while I haven't walked here for quite a number of years I've seen bits of it of course I'm in Chester nearly every other week and why not it's a lovely place just to sit around there's a, a, a couple of pubs that are on the actual canal you can sit and have a pint and watch watch people working it's always uh, relaxing isn't it yeah. it's the ring road around Chester or part of it there I remember when I lived there there was constant repairs going on you know and I thought they weren't funding it or whatever but unfortunately one of the councillors made he actually wrote a letter saying it's not you know Let's be fair, I mean, it, it's the Ro he was saying more or less that the Romans were to blame, you know. God, the stick he got. You couldn't wait to get back, and it went on for months. You know, it fueled. And, you know, more and more, we're getting more imaginative about this guy. And so we've got a place for him to go. We've got a am Roman amphitheater, so he could have gone there. See if that's built to his taste. Introduce him to a couple of cats. If you know what I mean. How dare he blame the blinking Romans. You know, underneath the surface of this, there's still the Roman roads are there. Practically unchanged. It's amazing, isn't it? Magic. Right. There's a little viewpoint.
we're heading heading towards the Rudy, which is the actual the oldest race course, which is Chester Race Course, and the road uh, the walls are near there. You get a view. Yeah, this is the 60s. There's a plaque there in 1966. Good year for music, but not, not for ancient bridges, I think. Oh, it's a fire engine. Hey, let's have a... Top of the town hall there, if I can see that there. That's the top of the town hall. Now it's got. I don't know whether we'll get a better view of that, so I'll tell you the so-called story. Whether it's made up, uh, it's got. It's only got three clock faces, or three clocks. Well, there's four clock faces, but three clocks. And the one that faces this way, the way I'm pointing the camera is towards Wales and that's where there's no clock apparently they wouldn't even give the Welsh the time of day and as my name's Evans who knows there's something about archery as well it wasn't until fairly recently you could shoot at people I won't mention what kind of people but that's another quirky anyway let's, uh, let's see what this tower is about because I don't remember. There's a lot of walks that go on and people give all the details. I, I, you know, I could look them up, I am interested. But sometimes you've only done half a, half a mile and the walk's gone on for about an hour. Pemberton's parlour. Mm. Now don't forget, if you want the details, you can pause. Oh, there's a little seats in there. This is this is where all the scaffolding was before. A little seat. Very nice. Nice pictures. Yes. Yeah, all the way along here, for quite some time there was... I mean, Mr. said, what are you talking about? Yeah, I haven't been here for years. But th when it was, whatever years it was, they were th it was there, scaffolding for a long time. And uh, the good thing about this, it's like uh, you can see a lot of Chester, but just going round the walls, and you, like it's like a bus in a way, but a walking bus. That means you can stop and get off, or down the steps, have your look around, and then get back on again. This is the North Wales or Chester Railway going to North Wales that way and on the other way it's going to Liverpool and Crewe and places like that. So if you're going on holiday you can take the train from Chester. Ah, 
I need to take a picture. Ah, oh, I got the train. Nice one. I wanted to grasp, get a picture here. This is one of those places, it's called Telford's Warehouse. And it's on the canal. You'll see it goes round the canal there. See that? See, it wraps around the building. That's in the foreground. Telford's Warehouse. And right the, around the side, you'll probably see it, the seats and stuff. It's very nice. And there's a boat repair place. And also, every year, they have the traders go there. The boat traders. That's worth a look. City walls. Yeah. There we go. All the details. Get a better view there, who knows? And probably not. Oh, let's get that. Yeah. See that ahead there? If you zoom in, you'll, you'll see there are boats in there somewhere. You can, oh, yeah, just get a glimpse. That's a repairs and boat yard place. And then if you continue down that way, that takes you towards Ellesmere Port and eventually the River Mersey that you need permission to get before you have access. Various safety procedures need to be done, etc. Hello ladies. Hello. Hello. And those that are watching they can uh, pause the video again. How much do I owe you? <laughs> it's only joking. You haven't got copyright. <laughs> Where are you from? China. China. China? Yeah. And you like it here? Hello, it's good. Hey? Yeah. Where? I'd like to go there. A friend of mine's been there, and I've, I know somebody from Hong Kong who lives there. He has to live with his mother, you know, because of the space. It's very busy, packed, but interesting. I like it. I like the Far East because it's so different from my culture. I find that more attractive looking at things, of even the text, writing, and everything else. So it's good. Are you enjoying it here? Yeah, you'd have to say that, wouldn't you? <laughs> All right then, I'm going to go now and leave you in peace. Thank you, ladies. Bye-bye yeah, yeah. now. When I worked for the council, there's a guy who travels lots of places and he went to see the China, you know, the usual things, the Great Wall and the Terracotta Army. So, regardless of the politics, it's a, it's a place that people visit, much like the Kremlin, Moscow. Now we're heading towards, let's get away from all this. Just chill out. We're heading towards the Rudy. Funny name for a, but that's what it's called, which is coming into view. 
this is a, a school sports ground so we're not quite there but you can see beyond that is where we'll see the um, race course it is very hot no was that no way I was going to wander across some moss and somewhere in the heat yeah some imposing buildings here and schools private school further up the Queen's School imposing there. Fortunately it's covered a lot by that hedge. That's the Queen's School. Very impressive. I might go to the gateway. Why not? Got their own buses. It's good isn't it? There we are. Somebody coming in as well now. It's all happening. the road again. I'm going to walk in the shade. Better. Anyone for tennis? I could do with a, a lemon barley water. Robinson's has endorsed endorsed tennis at one time. I don't think they do it anymore. Still make the barley water, but.
it's not that busy along here, which is good. Mind you, it's 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 not a weekend, so uh, I would think it would be twice as busy or more. But uh, yeah, Chester is very busy when the races are on. That's another income that they get in Chester. There's people from Liverpool, Keene, and, and local Manchester even go there. It's got a nice character to it. It's a very small, but perfectly formed, so to speak, racing circuit. They've got all the things that you need, mostly beer, champagne or whatever. Back there, that's the viaduct to the railway there that we just passed over. I'll zoom out again now. Well, we didn't get that view of Telford's warehouse, which was the side where the seating is. It's a wonderful spot. Apparently, um, Stephen Fry was there. That was a long time ago, but everyone heard about it. There's some pictures of him in the local paper. Imagine the entrance is just just passed a bit a bit to one side there. This, this is part of what you see as you're going into the into the race course circuit. Yeah. And the stadium, the main stadium, is uh, we'll see in the back. And that you can have your meal as well while you're watching the GGs. There's a, a main gate, you know, like most of these places, you get these gates here. Well, if you've got a seat there, you don't have to go through the main gate. And, but it might be all busy. Just have your digital ticket ready. There we are. See? Regulations, eh? All right. You want to look at that if you're horsey kind of person, you know. Don't frighten the horses. It's the main thing, isn't it? Even the, even if you've had too much to drink, don't don't frighten the horses, please. That's what they want. See, that's good. Picnic, soft drinks in sealed plastic containers for food. Won't allow gazebos, alcohol, or glass containers. Fair enough. They have uh, events here. One of them is, uh, you know, the old, what's those camper vans, the, the uh, Volkswagen, famous ones, they used to race surfers and that. They have an annual meet here. 
And the, obviously there's a lot of them because this is full. See the Rudy. There we are. go to the box office for the horse race and you see Winnie sorry about that well I'm not sorry I just have to say nay that looks really nice see these things here facilities it's like a golf been to one or two of the courses, you know, where they're setting up for the open golf. There's Hoylake and Royal Liverpool and places like that. Very nice, look at that. Sort of little traders thing there. You can get your, uh, your saddle and your whips and stuff like that, you know. Talking about the horses, by the way. It's a different shop. See that over there? Part of that was taken up by, you know, the council, because obviously they're thinking of you and saving money. Yeah. Not a bad place just to sit behind a desk with a computer and get paid. Nice little gut. That's really nice. That. What's that? That's wonderful. Oh yes. Oh. Isn't that nice. There's a signpost there. I'll try and. The architect. Well, that's good, isn't it? I've never noticed that before. There you are, look at that. There's a board. Dogs encouraged. Outdoor bar and kitchen. That is lovely. Really nice, that. Beautiful. Yeah, there's a telescope thing in here. And the gate seems to be open. Yeah, there are certain days you can walk on or around. There's a footpath around the outside, back of beyond there. Oh, we'll have a look at this. There we go. Gotta put money in. Yeah, you can pause that when you want. Have a look at the other one. Britain's oldest race course. the main stand there well, it's worth zooming into that I should think isn't it um, there you go well let's go on now it's not all about the horses
Now I can follow the river here, or the walls, which are near the river. And the walls and river join further up because we were near. We're near to the groves, which is where the tourist bus is and uh, the ice cream and the pavilions, brass band stands and things like that on the river. Oh, and the higher boats. Princess Diana uh, takes you up and down the Thames. Yeah, there's people, there's a couple, there's some of the people there having a picnic. What you're allowed to do, there was a sign, wasn't there? There's the wall in the foreground here has uh, stopped the sensor to work properly. You can imagine it. Just sat there having a picnic, thinking nobody bother us. I love maps. There we go. That building there is called Chester Castle. It was a castle a long time ago. It's now become um, civil buildings and things like that. There's that building there, partially used by the council. That's Chester Council. The bloody Zoom's gone a bit wonky now. Probably the heat. Not to worry. Yeah, sure. Yes. Chester County Castle. Oh, must get me coal mouse. Mm -hmm. At least I've got some hair eh, on my head. I've got hair like one of those. Um, dandelion heads and blow it and all my hair will fly out into the breeze. Lovely fresh air.
there where the fancy lamps is uh, Westminster. Is it Westminster Bridge? I know. Oh no, it's Grosvenor Bridge. Of course it is. Oh, it's got these zooms gone. Mm. There's a. I'll try it this way. No, it doesn't change. So. That's it, just cross the road. Yeah, we're heading towards the groves now. That's the walls to uh, Chester Castle there. Can you zoom in? It's when I zoom in, it might. We're right near to the edge of the uh, River Dee now. of Chester. Right. 
Right, we'll go up onto the walls here. Back on the walls. And we'll get a bit of a view of what's to come. Straight across there, you'll see it from there, but you won't be able to see those artists who put their pictures there for sale in the summertime and when the weather's a bit. That's it. You can still nip down those various steps. And that is Hanbridge, and also the village across there is Hanbridge. Right. Lots of nice pubs in Chester. Spoilt for choice, really. And that's the weir. That's not navigable. Obviously, you won't take the uh, boat trips along there. Yeah. Must be nice to have a place like this. Modest, but you've got a lovely view. Yeah. And of course, there's walks on the other side of the D there. Yeah, got it wrong. It's, it's, it's D bridge, but it's old D bridge. Luxury self catering homes there. Now I'm just going to see if there's any artists because it's on this wall which is out of view. So just pop down here. Don't think there is. No, there isn't. See that? Normally that's got loads of people's artwork on there. Well, 
the special frames, you know, the whole picture's up for sale. So, let's get back up again. Don't forget, we've got to finish at the clock. I've snipped off a few bits because uh, we've already done about an hour. Uh, that's the tour bus. As you can see, the open top bus. With a guide. I think they do various languages on there as well for people. Not far now. You can just see the span of the Queen Silver Jubilee Bridge, the footpath bridge, suspension bridge. There's some secret places to park there. I've got, I'm parked in another place. Near where I used to live in Chester, actually. So I feel, I'm not, I'm I can park there. It's knowing places to go, isn't it? Yeah. You know, I can buy myself a pint and it hasn't cost me nothing. That's the way I look at it. If I'm not paid for parking, I can have a pint then. Or at least a, a good way towards it. This is part of a Roman garden here, as you can see. Yeah, remember what I said about the Cheshire Council who blamed the Romans. Look at this mess they've left here. I think you'd get rid of it, wouldn't you? Go and got some stick, it was well worth giving. It was one of those papers, there was nothing in it, you know. To be honest, even for Cheshire, it was a bit boring. But uh, the letters page, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, that was, when was that? That could have been about 10 years ago, but I can still remember. Yeah, he probably took that to his grave. Yeah, 
But it was all banter, you know, it wasn't nasty. They were just mocking him, which was better, wasn't it, you know? Talk about blaming somebody else passing a book. It's bloody... That, that's the award of the century for that. There we go. There we go. You do have a century, well, guys dressed, or all girls dressed as centurions, and you have a tour round Chester. There's little brass markings on the. on the ground, and sometimes on the walls. Tales of Three Gateways. There we go. And there's a view of the amphitheatre. The zoom is only limited now, so you can see the remains of it. There's sort of structures and things here. Right. Just around the corner, we've got the uh, the beginning and the end, or the end of the beginning. Yeah, there's a lovely church there. It's free to go into. The name escapes me. I do know. Oh well, it wouldn't be uh, it wouldn't be right without meeting up with some scaffolding. I'm glad it says that city walls open this way to the East Gate clock. Business as usual. All right. See, that project is April the 211 to July 212. Steps repair, but they're still here. Yeah. Was that council here? I know what he's going to say. <laughs> it's not his fault. <laughs> yeah. Stop it now. Get over it. <laughs> Where the hell? Oh, I thought we were going downstairs for a minute. I thought, what the hell? There we go. See all these little... Oh. multi-storey car park. Well, somebody has to park when they visit. TSB Bank. I like the way they've done that. that that's nice. See? Now, I wouldn't be zooming into that. It was just an ordinary TSB sign, would I? So it's done its job. It's been subtle, but it's been noticed. And you remember that there's one in a TSB in Chester because it's uh, it's done with some sympathy to the surroundings, you know.
Ah, good, I can see the clock. I put my beach towel on there. <laughs> Sorry, it's a terrible joke, but yeah. <laughs> should be some room. Yeah, it's the only way you can do it, isn't it, you know? Yeah. Oh, a lovely little cafe. And this is the East Gate. Yeah. Hello. Hi. There we are. In all its beauty. I'll come round at midnight with my knife and scrape the into the jar the gold leaf. <laughs> Only joking. <laughs> Very ornate, isn't it? Victoria, yeah. 1897, yeah. Lovely. Nice to put this cafe here, isn't it? Now, I've been here but it was quite a few years ago and I've been right round and it was the scaff some of the scaffolding's been removed and it's great. Yeah. And that's the, the end of my beginning of the walk here, back at the clock. So I'm going to get myself some refreshment. Look at this view, it's fantastic. Ah. Okay, thank you for joining me, and it's goodbye for now.